Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial on Twitplay's channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about making a speed coil tool. Um, this is going to be just a general tutorial for the Steel of Brain Rot, but also a general tutorial for people who want to make a speed coil in general. I did leave a full kit and, uh, you know, just a tool in the description and the game. So we're going to hop right into this. If you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button to our post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. And um, yeah, so we're going to hop right into studio and we're going to get straight right into this. All right, you guys. So once we are in studio, we're going to go into the description. Now, of course, like I said, all the links are down there, you guys. Um, I do have a Discord server. If you'd like to join, feel free to because I do post all the kits every day that are in there. So, you know, it's definitely something to like think about and join. Uh, so if you want to join it, join up. It's, you know, I have the Steel Brain Rock kit. And I post everything in there when I need to. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to do that, and then of course, uh, I actually do have the link right here, so this is what it's going to look like. Feel free to grab it, download it, whatever is needed for you. If you want to click here, it should be able to get the model, or you can download, it's up to you. You might not have that download button, um, so just hit get my inventory. When you load into Studio, go to the Home tab, go to Toolbox, and just import this right here. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you what was added, because I had to change a few things, because I don't know, Golden Milk, when he made this kit and everything, by the way, you guys... Um, he's, uh, he's a creator of this, so go check him out as well, and Tigo's the one who made the map, so thank you, Tigo, so much, and I think Aiden's gonna help out with making some things, but, um, yeah, so in the inventory, feel free to import this, and mine's gonna look a little different for yours, but if you are, generally speaking, if you are making just a speed coil tool, um, it's already in here, and I'll just have it, it's just right here for you, so you don't even need to do watch this tutorial, it's just in here, and the speed coil is in here with the speed up script. Basically, you just on equip and on unequip. We basically just change the humanoid walk speed. Uh, like I said, this was made by someone else as well. So I just grabbed you a script. This is already in here. So speed coil, super simple. Um, and of course, when it comes to customizing these type of things, you know, if you ever want to change the way they look, you would just go inside of the handle and mess around with this. You know, um, you won't be able to change it because it's just a mesh ID and uh, a texture ID. So you will have to work on that. Um, I think you can like change colors and stuff though. So if you do want to do that, you can do that. That is possible. Um, but when it comes to everything else, you know, with the look and everything, and then, you know, making tool grip editor, if you want to change the tool grip of it, uh, things like that, you know, when it comes to studio, but yeah, so there's your speed coil. It's already made for you. You can just get the kit and it should be in there for you. Um, also with the like speed, you just change this value right here. If you want to change a certain speed. Okay. So for those who are in the steel brain rot, all right, so you can delete everything in here. You don't even have to read it unless you're not watching the tutorial. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to delete this. So in server storage, we're going to replace the tools folder. Just, I mean, mainly because I added speed coil. So if you want to add speed coil, just grab this and just go to your server storage and put it inside of tools. Um, basically, super simple. We're going to be adding to this as well. <laughs> Once we do that... We are going to uh, do the server script service. So in server script service, we're going to replace the tool script. So um, in the tool script, yeah, just go to drop it in here and remove the old one. Um, so I already did that, so you don't need to do that, but you can just delete it. Um, but yeah, and just hit the back button, you guys, or ungroup is control U. Um, but yeah, so in the tool script, which I'll talk about in a bit here, we still have the local function fling, but we have new functions. Okay, we have like categorize for combat and mobility. Um, we have the required behavior, which is just basically finding if it's in a certain folder, um, as in the category. And then this is the new function for give tool. Um, so in here, we basically go about uh, doing everything that we originally did. Um, but we basically just check if it's in a certain tools folder, if it has a certain animation ID, all that kind of stuff. And as you can tell, behavior wise, um, all these kind of things, restore player, attractive sound, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy with the tools. Now, the only thing we really did big wise is in replicated storage. Uh, remember how we have in, in replicated storage right here, we have configuration and then we have uh, modules and then there's tools. So in tools, basically what I added was uh, you have to have category for each thing. So we're going to do category is combat, uh, slap is combat, gold slap combat, speed coil is mobility. So we'll do that. And then we have other stuff we'll, we'll look at in a bit here. But um, we're going to make another one for like the body swap and all that kind of stuff. I guess that's mobility. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so when it comes to making tools, like I said as well, it's just copying and pasting. But make sure that your old tools have uh, updated with what I did, okay? Now, uh, same thing for mobility, like speed and stuff. Like you could tell over here, Gold Slap doesn't have an equip sound. 
you can add equip sounds if you want, but it, it, yeah, so like speed coil has an equip sound. There's no activation or animation sounds, uh, but it has categories of ability, starters false, rebirth of price is zero, price is 50, blah, blah, blah. And then the speed as well as what you want to do. So uh, I would recommend keeping this above eight or 16 or whatever's to your liking. Uh, but yeah, so speed, then added to speed is true. Uh, of course, for other mobility items, you'd put false if not. Uh, like I'm going to do the gravity coil and stuff, so we'll talk about that. Um, but yeah, so then, uh, speed, basically, we're just going to do 15, uh, cause that works. Um, and then, yeah, so you don't have to worry about anything right there. You can customize the speed to your liking. Um, but like I said, just make sure you add these categories. Uh, and it's very simple to do is a just copy and pasting you guys, um, or typing it in if you have certain tools that are already made, you know? Um, and remember guys, so tools, whatever is in this has to be in server storage under tools as well, because that is what we're grabbing. And then what we added was this tool behavior. So in tool behavior, we have a new folder and it's going to go under modules. So make sure you drag this and put it under modules. Um, and basically in here we have combat mobility and shared. Okay. Shared is just checking for a sound and stuff. And then we'll also be doing like ragdoll and kind of stuff like that. Uh, mobility is where we're going to be putting the module scripts for each one. So like speed coil, for example, we're doing and checking here if uh, we're applying and clearing, which is just, yeah, unequip and unequip. So basically we're going to be doing the speed and everything going through here. So that's what goes on with the speed coil. Um, and then of course, combat is the exact same thing. These are all the exact same. So you don't really have to worry as much, but you just have to create the modules as to your liking. So like if I'm going to make another slap, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to call it whatever slap. You could just go like a uh, freaking diamond slap. I don't know what, what kind of slaps there are. And then you just have to go in here and like, you know, go here and call it diamond slap and then change the functions of these uh, down here and you should be good. But they're basically all the same technically uh, for the slaps and everything. And then when it comes to like the config of like, oh, how what's the power? That's where you change this right here. And this does the power and then does the return stolen things, all that kind of stuff. Um, but we, the reason we're doing separate modules is because we want to do custom things for each tool, right? So that's where we go in about things. Like if I wanted to in a different slop, I could add effects, you know, but that's just for later. Uh, but that's why we're doing modules. Um, okay, so that is about it. That is basically what we're doing. We're just having new module scripts for each tool. Um, and I'm going to go about making like the gravity, gravity coil and all the other tools, and I'll just be putting them in here. It'll be super easy to add. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys kind of understand how that works. Um, like I said, when it comes to creating new tools, uh, just make sure you make in the configuration, you make a new, uh, event, I mean, a new table right here and just put it below out of comma, simple enough. Um, and then if you want to as well, you have to do the tool behavior. So make another module based on wherever it is. So mobility or combat. And then after that, so you don't have to worry about that. We can just delete this as well as when you're done and then make sure in server storage, you actually make the tool itself. Um, and then that's where, like, I know a lot of people might get confused, but go watch my bat and slap video. It kind of talks about if you want to make a tool separately or like how you want to make a tool. I kind of go into that. Uh, but yeah, you guys, so that's about it. I hope, you, and I just make sure to publish when you're done. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, kind of a simple tutorial, but, um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Um, have a good one.